Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish. I'm your trainer for this AZ500 Azure Security Engineer Certification course. In this video, we're going to learn about Azure Security Center. Let's have a high level look at the things what we're going to learn in this video. We will start with understanding what is Cyber Kill Chain. And I will introduce you to Azure Security Center and we will go through some of the features as well. Then we will look into Azure Security Center policies and recommendations and what are secure score and how are these brute force attacks enforced. And we will finish off the lesson with understanding what is just in time access for the virtual machine. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. The security center's threat protection includes fusion kill chain analysis, which automatically correlates alerts in your environment based on cyber kill chain analysis to help you better understand the full story of an attack campaign, where it started and what kind of impact it had on your resources. So let me help you understand the typical steps that raise the stages of a cyber attack. The first step is reconnaissance. The observation stage where attackers assess your network and services to identify possible targets and techniques to gain entry. The second step is intrusion. This is where attackers use knowledge gained in the reconnaissance phase to get access to a part of your network. This often involves exploring a flaw or security hole. Third stage or third step is exploitation. This phase involves exploiting vulnerabilities and inserting malicious code onto the system to get more access. And the third step is privilege escalation. This is when attackers often try to gain administrative access to compromised systems so they can get access to more critical data and move on to other connected systems. Fifth stage is lateral movement. This is the act of moving laterally to connected servers and gain greater access to potential data. The sixth stage is obfuscation and anti-forensics. To successfully pull off a cyber attack, attackers need to cover their entry. They will often compromise data and clear audit logs to try to prevent detection by any security team. And the seventh stage is denial of service. This phase involves disruption of normal access for users and systems to keep the attack from being monitored, tracked, or blocked. And the last stage is exfiltration. This is the final extraction stage, getting valuable data out of the compromised system. So now let's understand what is Azure Security Center. So before that, let me take you to the Azure portal and show you how you can access your Azure Security Center. I'm on my Azure portal. On the global search box, search for Azure Security Center and select Azure Security Center. Azure Security Center or ASE is a unified infrastructure security management system that strengthens the security posture of your data centers and provides advanced threat protection across your hybrid workload in the cloud, whether they are in Azure or not, as well as on-premises. Keeping your resources safe is a joint effort between your cloud provider, Azure, and you and the customer. Azure Security Center provides you with the tools needed to harden your network, secure your services, and make sure you are on top of the security posture. Security Center addresses the three most urgent security challenges. The first one is rapidly changing workloads, second, increasingly sophisticated attacks, and the third one is security skills are in short supply. So let me take you through these one by one. Let's understand rapidly changing workloads. It's both a strength and a challenge of the cloud. On the one hand, end users are empowered to do more. On the other, how do you make sure that the ever-changing services people are using and creating are up to your security standards and follow security best practices? The second challenge which Azure Security Center address is increasingly sophisticated attacks. So wherever you run your workloads, the attackers keep getting more sophisticated. You have to secure your public cloud workloads, which are in fact an internet facing workload that can leave you even more vulnerable if you don't follow security best practices. And the third challenge which Azure Security Center addresses is security skills are in short supply. 
the number of security alerts and alerting systems far outnumbers the number of administrators with the necessary background and experience to make sure that your environment is always protected. Staying up to date with the latest attack is a constant challenge, making it impossible to stay in place while the world of security is ever-changing front. So to help you protect yourself against these challenges, security centers provide you with tools like strengthening your security posture. This is where security center assists your environment and enables you with understanding the status of your resource and whether they are secure or not. The next tool is protect against threats. Security center assists your workload and raises the threat prevention recommendation and security alerts. And the last stage is get secure faster. In security center, everything is done in cloud speed. Because it's natively integrated, deployment of security center is easy. Providing with auto provisioning and protection with Azure services. Let's talk about Azure security center policies. By default, all prevention policies are turned on. Prevention policies and recommendations are tied to each other. In other words, if you enable prevention policy such as OS vulnerabilities, that enables recommendation for that policy. In most situations, you want to enable all policies even though some might be more important to you than others, depending on the Azure resources you have deployed. So let me show you how you can access these policies. I'm on my Azure portal, go to your security center, under management, click on security policy and select your subscription. Under security center default policy, click on view effective policy. This is where you can see all the auto enabled and turned on features and policies. So I'm going to collapse. These policies will give you recommendations and best practices and alerts on system updates, OS vulnerabilities, endpoint protection, disk encryption, network security groups, web application firewall, next generation firewall, vulnerability assessment, SQL auditing threat detection, and SQL encryption. The next topic is security center recommendations. You can reduce the chances of a significant security event by configuring a security policy and then implementing the recommendations provided by Azure Security. Security center automatically runs continuous scans to analyze the security state of your Azure resources. When Security Center identifies potential security vulnerabilities, it creates recommendations that guide you through the process of configuring the needed security controls. And Security Center updates the recommendation within 24 hours, except operating system security configuration recommendations. Those are updated within 48 hours. And in pro and endpoint protection issues recommendations are updated within 8 hours. And these recommendations are grouped by severity. Each recommendation provides you with a short description of what being recommended, the remediation steps to carry out in order to implement the recommendations, which resources are in need of you performing the recommended actions on them, and the secure score impact, which is the amount that your secure score will go up if you implement this recommendation. So since we are on the secure score topic, let me introduce you to what is secure score. Azure Security Center has two main goals, to help you understand your current security situation and to help you effectively and efficiently improve your security. The central aspect of Security Center that enables you to achieve these goals is secure score. The Security Center continually assess your resources, subscriptions, and organization for security issues. It then aggregates all the findings into a single score so that you can tell at a glance your current security situation. The higher the score, the lower the identified risk level. Use the score to track security efforts and projects in your organization. The secure score page gives you the score. The secure score is shown as a percentage value, but the underlying values are also clear. Then we have the security controls. Each control is a logical group of related security recommendation and reflects your vulnerable attack surfaces. So how is the secure score is calculated? The contribution of each security control towards the overall secure score is shown clearly on the recommendation page. To get all the possible points of the security control, all your resources must comply with all of the security recommendations within the security control. 
For example, Security Center has multiple recommendations regarding how to secure your management ports. In the past, you could remediate some of these related and interdependent recommendations while leaving others unsolved and your secure score would improve. When looked at objectively, it's easy to argue that your security hadn't improved until you have resolved them. Now you must remediate them all to make a difference to your security score. Now let's understand brute force attacks. Brute force is targeted. The hacker goes after specific users and cycles through as many passwords as possible using either a full directory or one that's edited to common passwords. An even more targeted password guessing attack is when the hacker selects a person and conducts research to determine if they can guess the user's password, discovering family names through social media posts, for example, and then trying those variants against an account to gain access. Brute force attacks commonly target management ports as a means to gain access to a VM. If successful, an attacker can take control over the VM and establish a foothold into your environment. And attackers target RDP servers that use weak passwords and are without multi-factor authentication, VPN, and other security protections. One way to reduce the exposure to the brute force attack is to limit the amount of time that a port is open. Azure Security Center leverages the Microsoft Intelligent Security Graph to discover and act against these attacks. The graph combines the cyber intelligence Microsoft collects across all the services along with the industry data to block known attack patterns. So what are the indications of an attack? If you find extreme counts of failed sign-ins from many unknown usernames, that's an indication of an attack. And what are the practices to blunt a brute force attack? You can disable the public IP address, use bastion host, or use point-to-side VPN, site-to-side VPN, or X or Azure Express Route, or enable multi-factor authentication, use complex password, and, and limit the time that the ports are open. And the last topic is just-in-time VM access. Just-in-time or JIT virtual machine. Just-in-time virtual machine access can be used to lock down inbound traffic to your virtual machines, reducing exposure to attacks while providing easy access to connect to VMs when needed. When you enable just-in-time VM access for your VMs, you can create a policy that determines the ports to help protect how long ports should remain open and approved IP address that can access these ports. The policy helps you stay in control of what users can do when they request access. Requests are lodged in Azure Security Log so you can easily monitor and audit access. The policy will also help you quickly identify the existing VMs that have just-in-time VM access enabled and the VMs where just-in-time VM access is recommended. When just-in-time VM access is enabled for a VM, Azure Security Center creates deny all inbound traffic rule for the selected ports in the network security group associated and firewalls within it. So that concludes Azure Security Center episode. In the next video, we're going to talk about Azure Sentinel. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.